Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Maybe like the second last Afterbirth run we're ever going to do. What a surprise. C's S 0 W 0 N 8 8. But you know, I was I was sentimental about the uh, original Binding of Isaac series ending. I wasn't that sentimental about uh looking for a secret room here. What an interesting star, by the way, before we get into this. Like Guardian Spear plus Dad's Key. A very novel combination of items here. I recognize people at home are playing the Northern Lion drinking game. Drink every time he says novel. You'll be you'll be dead. Don't do that. Know your limits, stay within it. Or do it, but like don't die as you do it would also be fine in my opinion. Um I wasn't that sentimental with when Rebirth ended, because when Rebirth ended, it was like expansion time. I'm not that sentimental right now either about, uh, you know, Afterbirth coming to an end, because we got Anti-Birth, we got Afterbirth Plus, like, in a weird way, and an unexpected way, Isaac is, like, in the best place it's been since Rebirth has come out, I think. Like, Rebirth, everybody agreed was awesome. Afterbirth, people, I think, were largely positive, but a little bit more, um... Two of Hearts, maybe? Yeah, actually, it's a great time for Two of Hearts. A little bit more kind of divided over whether it was uh, an improvement in actuality or whether it was, like, maybe a lateral move. But, honestly, with the um, with the existence of Anti-Birth now, I really feel like Isaac's in a, a really good place, which is nice. Because it's kind of, again, nobody really expected Anti-Birth to come out expect for the, except for the Anti-Birth developers, I think. And it was like, hey, we're making this thing. It's going to come out, like, pretty soon. And then they're like, by the way, it came out. We did it. It's, it, it's out now. So I think Isaac's in a, it's in a good spot. We don't really need the store key because of Dad's key, but it's not necessarily um, a bad thing. Get up to 11 cents here. And, yeah, this runs in a, in a solid position right now. i got to turn up my... My own headphones here. Guardian Spear is one of those items that, if I'm being honest, I don't think I ever really solved it. I don't think I ever really... First off, it's an Angel Room item, so it's very rare to get it, for one. Secondly, it leads to you taking more damage, which is not always a bad thing if you get like a lot of damage out of it, but it requires, or at least benefits from having a certain set of synergies along with it. For example, being able to have like a, um, you know, Gimpy, so if you get hit, it's not that bad. Or Infamy, so that if you get hit, there's a chance the damage is just nullified. Or Old Bandage, and, you know, even Fanny Pack, and Bloody Lust, etc, etc. But, um, mostly it's just that it doesn't show up that often. And, um, sometimes the damage feels like a little bit, a little bit shitty, if I'm being honest. Just, just not that good. Um, I think if we stand, like, here... We should be okay. And it worked. We actually got the secret room not via Dad's key, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. But it saves me some time, I suppose. And we're up to like 25 cents, 24 cents here. Not bad for a, you know, back of the napkin calculation in my head there. But I do, I, I mean, I want to like this item, I think, more than I do. I just wish the range on it was slightly longer. Like, items that have deceptive hitboxes are some of the... Ah, definitely should have uh, just not use the key there and instead use dad's key but uh, items with deceptive hitboxes are some of the most frustrating to use in uh, in Isaac, well in any game but in Isaac and it always feels like the tip of guardian spear is touching an enemy well before that enemy actually starts taking damage but it did do quite a number on uh, dang it did do quite a number on uh, the haunt there so maybe I shouldn't be too displeased by it wait does guardian spear actually create fear as well like, this this boss was afraid. How did I not know that? I mean, it's a very, very minor synergy, but at the same time, you think I would have known that by now. Or maybe, you know what, it could be one of those Isaac epiphanies I've had like ten times, but then forget because it's like three months in between this item showing up and the next time I'll see it. No rerolls, so we'll take that, take that, take that. I mean, we... Pretty good path to victory here, I'd say. We got the guppy chance, we got extra damage. We could use range, we could use HP, even though we just spent, you know, our own HP to pick up another high damage item. You could always still, I mean, you could use everything, you know? If you need a new washer and dryer, and you use money to purchase a washer and dryer, and then you need money, that doesn't mean you were wrong to purchase the washer and dryer, you know? Some things, uh, 
in life are free for everything else. There's MasterCard. That did not use a key. I just want to point out that did not use a key. I'm not the world's biggest idiot. We have shop key, so we can afford to do that. And I bought a bomb just to, yeah, get two spirit arts. Five cents for two spirit arts instead of one. Seems like a good deal. Second secret room? Yeah, okay. A bomb in here would be nice if we could actually make it happen. Okay, an HP upgrade is also fine. I can live with that. So we'll get the heck out of this floor. Uh, well ahead of schedule, feeling very, very good about the way things are going. A little light on keys if we're going to be getting a lot of golden chests, but apart from that, you know, life's good, digitally yours. I do think that, you know, we have solved Afterbirth as much as I'm going to solve it. That's not to say that if I, if I kept playing Afterbirth, I wouldn't get better. Because I, I do think that, you know, time after time, I get consistently better in the game. It's just hard, you know, if you look at like a little swath of territory, you're like, ah, you know, he played pretty badly here, his, his skills are going down. I don't think that's the case, you know. We, we had an awesome uh, streak earlier this year with Afterbirth, um, which only ended, I, if I remember correctly, it was on a bullshit run that I re-rolled like an idiot to be funny, and then we had nowhere left to go by the end of it. Like, we just got screwed by um, an awful re-roll. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed by, yeah, you know, let's take Pulse Worm. I mean, Shop Key is probably better, even if it saves us like a single key, but we do have Dad's Key to facilitate that as well. Um, but I, I think for the most part, you know what they say is like, on any project, like the first 50% of it is 90% of the work, and the last 50% of it is 90%. Wait, wait, how does that work? It's like the first 90%. I... I think I'm getting my, my Agile phrases mixed up here. When people say about completing like a major project, the last 10% is like 90% of the work. Let's just assume that that's something that people actually say, even though I don't know that it is. Um, we're at like 9.8 out of 10 for my Afterbirth skill. Not for Afterbirth skill, you know, agnostic of the streamer or YouTuber, but... For my specific brand of skill, yeah, I think we're at like 9.8 out of 10 here. We could probably get to 10, but it's going to take us a long time. So I'm excited that there's some new content coming out uh, in the interim period as well. And I think Anti-Birth has made me a better Isaac player, even though I'm taking a lot of stupid damage uh, on this run, specifically right here. That's largely because I'm an idiot, and I also have an item that incentivizes uh, standing real close to other enemies. Not necessarily a great reason, but a reason nonetheless. Alright. I was gonna say, if you're not gonna blow up, it doesn't really bother me. Which is not to say we're done with Afterbirth. I really think uh, think that the Isaac formula is one that, it, it comes the closest to a game that I could play forever. It's like my Sunday morning crossword. Which, I should really start doing crosswords. I seem like the crossword type, don't I? You know, I use five dollar words just to use them. Um, ridiculous knowledge of, well, let's not toot my own horn too much. Let's, let's phrase it in a self-deprecating fashion. Uh, surprising knowledge of shit that is largely impractical and useless. That, that's a better and more honest way to phrase that. Um, but the problem is, like, sometimes I do, you know, I'll, I'll be around the newspaper. It happens sometimes, you know, like on a flight or something like that. I'm like, ah, what am I gonna do? I'll do the crossword. Crossword right now is tailored to like the 85 to 115 year old demographic which is fine you know you gotta you gotta pander to your audience for example there wasn't me but you got me on the can see I, like I understand the grind at the same time for someone looking to uh, get into the crossword game you're making it tough because the question will be like this leggy dame was Spencer Tracy's co in the 1955 film Rafifi. And you're like, okay, uh, Jesus, I don't know, Vivian Lee? No, you moron! It's Ava DuVernay. And you're like, ah, well, you know, guess you get what you pay for. But, like, you need to start coming out with, like... I don't, I don't know about this one. You need to start coming out with some more millennial-focused crosswords, in my opinion. And, you know, basically, fuck y'all, I can use the word millennial because I am one. So, if you don't like it, 50 told me, go ahead, switch your style up, and if they hate, then let them hate it. And watch the money pile up. It's the good life. Did we find a secret? No, we did not find a secret room there. I think we should use a key uh, to get into the item room, and I think we should use Pandora's box. 
Yikes, that was bad. Alright, never have I ever, uh, disgusted myself by taking a book so early, uh, so much. So we took Monster Man well just to be like, hey, we can get a library synergy, that'll be fun. And then, the game was like, oh, you like books, huh? What if every item room for the remainder of the game just gave you a book? Mr. Librarian, bring me a book, bring me a book, bring me... Wait, there's there's something in here. Bring me some works feature, featuring Peregrine Took. There you go. I knew there was a there was a literary meta reference in there somewhere. Book 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 book. Yo, we've got the pentagram. So if I remember correctly from Anti Birds, we should have a forty eight percent chance of a deal with the devil. Did not get one, but you gotta you gotta roll the dice on spun. In in Afterbirth, Spun is viable. I will- there's a few things about this game I- I hold self-evident. Spun makes experimental treatment viable in the same way that, like, Guppy makes Guppy's hairball worth paying for in some situations. I think it's more valuable, although I- I acquiesce that it is close. I think it's more valuable to use Dad's key tactically than it is to use it, um, uh, non, what's the word I'm looking for? Dis, dis conscientiously? I, hey, look. Stop hitting me. I'm getting a little low on HP here. You know what? No. We don't, we don't need to. We just don't need to. That could have been a secret room, so. I'm, I'm tempted to, that, that feels like a good secret room chance right there. Um, I'm tempted to open the golden chest, admittedly, and if HP gets truly dire, we'll make an effort to do so. I guess we're hitting that awkward period with, uh, with Guardian Spear right now. Where I'm kind of, oh, I forgot we had Placenta for that beautiful HP regen, but where we're kind of, like, not doing enough damage that we can just get in there and, you know, treat it as if it's Sack Dagger. And I'll, you know, admit... A nice a sack dagger that you could actually control would probably be too strong, but I I know that guardian spear scales with your own damage, but it feels a little underpowered from time to time, does it not? But we're also a little underpowered here. Like um, our first uh, three item rooms have all been books, so you can say NL you're you're playing badly now, and I don't disagree. Playing overly aggressively, which is tone deaf given the amount of damage that we're dealing right now. However, we're on kind of a, what I would describe as a suboptimal seed right now. That doesn't really help. Bursting sack is not too glorious here. Bob's brain, another truth I hold to be self evident. Really bad um, in our present configuration because we're going to get close to enemies and probably blow ourselves up a lot. However,. This gives us, maybe, weirdly enough, an, oh, I really thought we were far enough away, an incentive to stay at range. That's the way I'm going to choose to think about it, at least. Um, yeah, there we go. Second secret room full of red hearts? That's actually pretty solid. It's not full of red hearts. In case you're just listening, that was just my dream, that it, is that it would be full of red hearts. But it was not, and that's okay. Um, we'll go back here. We already did that. That was stupid. Lockdown is also pretty bad. I think we should get a Spirit Heart for the, uh, for the, uh, fight here. And maybe even work towards a teleport card. This donation machine is healthy. The Sun is not a teleport card, but it will keep us alive. In, uh, some dire situations, so. Uh, we do have a Guppy item, so we should explore, honestly, and a Curse Room is, is well worth the cost of doing business right now. Assuming we can get in without, you know, causing ourselves a lot of problems, at least. Uh, bombs that really are not that useful for me. A spirit heart is, though. I'm very tempted to use the sun card. Because, like, this is what our bread and butter is going to be. Our bread and butter is going to be walking into rooms like this, dealing damage to enemies at too slow of a rate in order to ensure that we don't take damage ourselves. So I need to either change myself or change the parameters of the game right now. This is a dumb idea that I am a genius for doing. 
No, fuck this. We're fighting Mega Satan. It's one of our last Afterbirth runs. It's very freeing to know that we're in this uh, position. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If we don't get hit by the boss, we will get a deal with the devil. And we will get a guppy item. What are the odds of this happening? A hundred. I just said it. So shall it be ridden, so shall it be fucking done. Does Bob's brain work with Bursting Sack, by the way? I don't know. The Hollow. Ideal boss. Just point that sword in the other direction, buddy. Excuse me, streamer. It's a spear, as written on the item text itself. You're not wrong, you know? You are correct in your assessment of the metallurgic properties of this weapon. Made of pure Wakandan vibranium. No deal with the devil, but... Speedball. Getting a little closer to spawn. We're one item away from two different transformations. So... This Dank Depths 1 floor could be extremely useful. I think that it would be a, a mark of laziness to, to use the Sun card right away. It's so much more valuable for, as an item that can keep us alive. Wow, perfect direct hit there. And, you know, honestly, we may end up using it right away anyway, not because, uh, out of convenience, but rather because, uh, it's gonna be a necessity, but I don't know. We got placenta. We got all sorts of weird, positive stuff happening for us here. Just land Bob's brain, like, right there. You'll get a little value out of it. Now, this is not quite Mega Satan worthy, but Spun plus Guppy is, like, really good. If we can do it without getting 9 lives, not that 9 lives is bad, but if we can do it without getting 9 lives, so we have a little bit of HP to work with, it's probably for the best. Just a little bit more placenta love would be ideal. Okay, we have to use it. We do have a curse room. We have to go there also. I mean, that's probably relatively obvious. What did Bob's brain hit a fly that we created from poop when Bob's brain hit it? This is like some Ken, you know, Guy Fieri make a sandwich so spicy he himself couldn't say that. That really packs the heat. Not Guppy. We didn't get... Oh, wait. You're immune to spiders with bursting sack? This is like... All sorts of novel information. It worked. I am flabbergasted that we navigated the serpentine tunnels of danger there. Really good value for uh, Dad's key here, by the way. Look at that. Secret room, shop, and item room. All for the low, low cost of taking a suboptimal spacebar item for bravado purposes. We might as well... Walk over. Wait, you guys also have to die. That's my bad, my bad. I forgot about the whole you have to be killed sort of thing here. More money. Triple shot. Not always great, but I always take it regardless. Greed fight. Just land that Bobby B in there. Look, would you rather see me stand back and deal damage, or would you rather see me walk in there with Guardian Spear, and start kicking ass and taking names. I know where I'd rather be. Well, thank God we didn't use Paralysis over there, but... Surely this could have been better. With only four bombs, I don't really want to, uh... <laughs> don't even start with me. I don't really want to blow up the, uh... Blue Fires, honestly. I don't think it's necessary. I would have just lost the, uh, the spirit heart anyway. Four bombs is enough to feel, for whether correct or otherwise, that this is uh, a scarce and precious resource. Even in the lightest times, you can find a way to create some do The dodges right into the enemy are crushing me right now. I am amazed at my 
seemingly infallible ability to walk into uh, an enemy bullet that covers like 0.1% of the screen. Okay, this is not even funny anymore. This is just sad. Just land that Bob's brain. No HP. We gotta go back for HP, but just don't walk on the fucking spikes for God's sakes. It's a bad habit. Like, you gotta walk into a room and then stand still for a second and be like, okay, this is like there. Let's not die. And then this room, same deal. Use a bomb here. I'm embarrassed, but we will persevere. There you go. Those were the only two dangerous rooms, I think. Um, we'll look for a second secret room as well, but yeah, like, not, not superbly pleased with myself right now. Please give me a uh, syringe. Would be actually really nice right now. That was also very good. And you know what? As much as it's a play style that sometimes I disparage, we're going to stand back. Because... Oh, that's really good. Uh, we're going to stand back, because obviously this is... It's a strategy that's not working out for me right now to get up close and personal. A cube of meat! I'm on the fence about how good this is right now. It's good because we're getting very close to enemies, but it's bad because it incentivizes me getting close to enemies when I really should be, like, minding my own fucking business on the other side of the map. Even though our damage at range is not great, our damage up close is not great enough to justify the, you know, vastly increased risk. So let's treat this floor as a learning experience. We'll actually take Super Bandage. Thank you, there's options. Although the Cube of Meat is lovely, we kind of have a shitty but functional version of Cube of Meat ourselves in the form of uh, Guardian Spear right now. Okay, we don't need that, surprisingly. We will play that Blood Bank um, because... The, uh, oh, what? Because, uh, we really want that guppy item. There could be a red chest inside of our, uh, mob trap room back there, which is actually a boss trap room. There's not, but there is four cents, which makes it all worthwhile. He said without a hint of sarcasm in his voice. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming Guardian Spear scales with damage. Again, it's an item I've not solved, in case that's not clear by the, you know, embarrassing amounts of damage we've taken. And the fact that I said it earlier in the show here. Okay, well, it's worth it. Money equals power is, like, disgustingly good right now. If we can get that to happen, I'll be a, I'll be a happy camper. Just stand on the spikes, dude. That's all I ask. And then Bob's brain on that guy. Beautiful. Lucky dodge. Lucky dodge on the poops. Oh, I see. When this guy touches a spike, he gets deflected. When I touch a spike, I get frozen in place. Steven. Uh, a modest improvement. And a rarish item to boot. So, I'm not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. We really... You know they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I say if you got one good basket, one shitty basket, put all your eggs in the good basket. And a good basket here is trying to get guppy, trying to get spun. What's the best way to do both of those? Honestly, get a deal with the devil. Deal with the devil could have a demon judgment on it. Demon judgment gives us a pretty good chance to get spun. Um, it obviously gives us a good chance to get guppy. Even if both of those fall through, there's great contingency plans. So all we need to do is, like, sincerely not take, like, a ridiculous amount of damage on the back half of this floor. And we should be relatively good at not just getting destroyed here. Either one of those transformations... Look, I'm just gonna be lazy about it. Either one of those transformations helps out a lot. Both of those transformations in conjunction with one another is disgusting. Pretty much in one fell swoop, we could become, like, more powerful than we've ever imagined. I can see forever is fine, as far as I'm concerned. Um, wait, we want, we want Liberty Cap. Okay, 
Good Bob's brain placement for sure. Sack Dagger is, uh, you know, say its name three times and it spawns on the run, apparently. I'm happy to have it. Uh, again, first off, softens the blow of not taking uh, Cuba Meat. Not that, like, that blow needs softening, if you know what I mean. But, additionally, just really good if our intention is to get close to enemies. I'm assuming... I'm gonna try something here. You know, it's all in the... It's all in the desire to learn. If we fight mom... Okay, now we can't do it because I'm a dumb human being who, you know, is very grateful for his undeserved audience. Um, what I was gonna say is... Oh no, we can still do it. Use, use mom's key to get out of the mom fight. I'm assuming this actually works. If it doesn't, we only missed out on the shop. Not an enormous problem. If it does, you know, we can hopefully see our deal with the devil chance right off the bat here. And it is Krampus, which is fine. Lump of coal would be good. Krampus's head would not right now, because we're keeping Dad's key. Alright. <laughs> Krampus's head. Nope, you cannot use Dad uh, Mom's key, Dad's key to get out. I really thought you could. Sincerely. So that's uh, absolutely a mistake on my behalf here. But a learning lesson. A learning lesson I'm unlikely to remember, but a learning lesson nonetheless. How is this run? It, it's honestly... What? It's honestly not that bad. So you might be able to hear some pretty droning bass as well. It is 2.15pm on New Year's Day, so... You know, you gotta strike while the iron's hot. There's only 10 hours of partying left in 2016, so... Did I say New Year's Day? It's, uh... It's New Year's Eve. I know New Year's Eve is a big... I'm not disparaging the New Year's Eve party. I just don't understand... And I, this is probably, like, the lamest thing I'll ever say. I don't understand loud music. I understand louder than average music. You know, you're listening to a song, you're really feeling it. You crank up the music because you're like, this is heightening my response to it. I enjoy that. I've done it, you know? Great song comes on the radio, crank it up. Don't you look at my radio. Like, hit that, you know, past the aux cord. I'm trying to just keep current with the memes. You better not play that Super Tramp shit. Don't you look at my boyfriend. And then just swerve or watch me whip. You know, I know that. I know the parlance of the youth these days. Um, what I don't understand is music oh god so loud your neighbors can hear all the words this is a like pretty new building and shit walls are made of like concrete that can withstand a nuclear blast and i can still hear like my baby they're not listening my baby takes the morning train by you know sheena easton but if they were i'd be able to sing along that's all i'm saying like is it not actually Painful to your eardrums? I know people are going to use the the catch-all as well. They'll be like, you know, they're under the influence of some kind of narcotic, legal or otherwise. And, you know, there's some validity to that statement. But, I mean, I've been there. Even still, I'm not Mr. Loud Music. I just don't, I don't get it. Wake up the next day, like, you got... You gave yourself tinnitus. Why? Oh, you know, they were playing DJ Khaled and we were really into it. Good use of the, you know, freaking ears you were given. I don't know, I'm just a bitter old man at this point, apparently. So, am I, like, concerned about the way this run is? Yeah, but I thought, like, if I just don't draw attention to it, probably the game will save us. Much in the same way that, you know, ear doctors will save the ears of my next door neighbors. I don't, or, well, let me put it this way. I would prefer not to um, fight the boss with one HP. Even getting that half heart makes me a lot more confident. And you'll notice, I think, like, once I started actually, uh, oh, that was beautiful. Once I started being scared for my life, I started playing a lot better. Like, look at the, we're bodying these enemies at range, making smart decisions. Pheromones could be okay against the boss here. 
Uh, it's a it's a tricky ish boss. I am motivated by a strong desire to not lose a run this close to the release of uh, Afterbirth Plus, because honestly, it would just be embarrassing. Like this game is supposed to be my bread and butter. Admittedly, we threw away some better items, Guppy's head in particular. For the meme potential. But still, you know, like... I would prefer not to be in such a bad position. You know, maybe even like the that situation right there, we would have been better off taking... Um, I think we just go, even though there's a curse room. We would have been better off taking uh, the white pony, perhaps. But I'm, I'm committed to the meme at this point, and I'm willing to give it a try to make it work. Curse of the Maze. Fuck these guys. Just keep moving. We've done it. Oh, yes. All golden chests go to heaven. In my world right now. Please land a Bob's brain shot as soon as possible. Thank you. Oh, my God. We got a half heart out of a poop. And I would like to get in there. But there's a red poop. Please crash into the red poop. You don't take damage from the red poop. Something I should probably know by now, but that's okay. Sound dagger did the damage. Yeah, I fucked up my half heart interval. It wasn't on purpose, it was just willful negligence. And now I've got three HP, so immediately let's return to our bad habits of using sack dagger. No, I think we can pull this out. I don't know, because people are going to be like, NL, you're old. You don't understand. Loud music is fun. But I guess, like, I was old before my time. It's like I just never got it. Even whenever, If I go to a restaurant, and this has been the case since I was, like, eight, I'm, like, resentful if the restaurant has loud music. I'm like, you're not a, you're not a club. I'm here to get, like, a sandwich. Just turn the music down. I want to talk to the people at my table. But that's, like... I don't know. That's Vancouver right now. It's like all these trendy restaurants. Come down to the bow bar and then like don't even hear yourself think it's you know you're a sushi restaurant dog not a club like just go turn it down. I don't understand the the desire but maybe oh you jerks. Maybe again it's just me. The food is usually pretty good, though, so it's, like, tough to argue against that, but still. I don't know. I, I'm I'm wary of the fact that I'm becoming very tone-deaf here, because, like, Hey, why don't you all come over to my party? I really enjoy your company. Let's turn off the music so loud we can't even hear each other talk. That's a straw man argument, and I don't mean to be the man made of straw. But I just, I guess I just don't get it. Maybe I haven't taken the right kinds of legal or illegal narcotics to understand. And that, you know, it could be an eye-opening experience, I suppose. Help me relate a little bit more. Maybe they're totally sober. That's also plausible. And, you know, people just enjoy different things. But come on. Come on. What I'm amazed with, I guess, is that, like, you'd think of this, like, loud music thing was, like, universally good. And beloved, we're just gonna get through this room. This this room's hell. You would hear like different kinds of musics. <laughs> Is that, I don't think that's how that phrase works. Um, you'd hear different kinds of music being pumped, right? But it's always either like rock, hip hop, or like electronic dance, EDM, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You never walk by like someone's apartment and you know there's like we're going to Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. We're going, you know, cranked up to like 500 decibels and you, you know give them a noise complaint. What's the dude? You just don't understand, okay? Paul Simon's just better when it's cranked. That's that's what I would like to explore. Uh, okay, so we have rerolled our whole run. I forgot we rerolled our whole run right away upon picking that up, but we have Isaac's heart now, which is great. First off, I can walk out of these spikes, and secondly, as long as we beat Mom's heart, we'll never have to deal with Isaac's heart again. Northern Line was that a off the cuff reference to 1986's second best album, uh, Graceland by Paul Simon? Yes, it was. Thank you, Paul Simon. Thank you, Lady Smith, Black Mombasa. 
several classics inherent, especially in the front half, side A of that album. The Boy in the Bubble, Graceland, I Know What I Know, You Can Call Me Al, Homeless, Diamonds on the Soles of Her Shoes, nonstop. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. We might as well take this because it gets rerolled regardless. There's the mom transformation. Balls of steel. Hanged man. Not as good. We got 2020 right now, by the way, but I don't think it's like a good 2020. Saving kidney stone for this moment right here. Oh, we have uh, scatter bombs and also bomber boys, so be careful. Also, our damage is horrible. Like, and we have number two, which is, is great, actually, but our damage is abysmal. It's so powerful! I can't escape my own bombs! You wouldn't! Honestly, I still feel like that was a good run in spite of the loss at the end. The number two bombs took me by... Oh, you know what it was? My ineptitude combined with Isaac's heart. I was like, I feel like I'm out of the range of these shots, but number two bomber boy scatter bombs. It was creating a pretty tough ass situation to avoid. I should have just, I didn't even notice I had Nod Leaf until just now. God damn it. Still, at least we're putting a loss close to the end, I guess. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.